Welcome back to Brushes and Blades, and today we're going over the bluing effect on my Grey Knight Purifier Intercessors. So grab your brushes, sharpen those blades, and let's get this show on the road. Let's talk about the bluing effect and what you need to achieve it. Here I'm using Monument Hobbies Faded Plum and Monument Hobbies Blue. Highly diluted, almost 50-50, with airbrush thinner to the point where the consistency is almost like an ink or a pen liner. I'm using it to rim first in blue and then pulling into where I'm gonna later put the purple and then putting down the purple in the same way, pulling it away from the blue and pulling it slightly away to create a nice fade. Now I do do this multiple times, multiple thin coats. It's about three with some touch-ups on where it does, because you are messing with it still while it's still wet. And that's why I don't use any kind of mediums when I'm doing this effect, because uh, you don't want it to stay wet. You kind of do want it to dry, because I do love using slow dry mediums to help with my painting. As you can see now, I'm just kind of just dabbing at certain points, trying to just hit points that I've pulled because it's, again, it's still wet while you're messing with it. Pulling some blue into the purple and pulling some purple into the blue. Uh, this really just dials it in and gives it a more of a gritty look. And of course, you finish it off with some classic known oil. You just give that whole weapon a known oil bath when you're done. Fills in those little barrel holes and everything like that. And of course, drill your barrels. I also put blue here on like the inside tip and everything like that just to kind of and when you put the known oil on top of that it really darkens it even more and gives it that like dark dirty bluish known oil look that you love so much i also want to point out don't be afraid if it looks too harsh so once it dries and it's really thin the way you do it here it looks like there's two circles almost around the weapon as you, because you faded it out here in a moment, I'll show you the results or my end results uh, after the known oil wash and everything like that. And it, it really dials it down a little bit. It's But when it's still wet, it's super bright. Well, that's a wrap for today, Brushes and Blades Unleashed. If you're enjoying this journey into the bluing effect, hit that like button, subscribe for more artistic escapees and let it be known through your thoughts in the comments below. Until the next artistic conquest, keep those brushes wet and may your blades forever stay sharp. This is Brushes and Blades signing off. Stay inspired, my friends.